Greetings sirs and madams, I'm Seraphic Zero and we're playing Gundam Battle Operation 2. So we are back for the next banner in the third anniversary event. So yeah, last week we had the new Gundam and this week the banner will be the Sazabi. Yeah, I really, really, really do not like Char, but I have always been a great big fan of the Sazabi. <laughs> it's, it's just like, uh, yeah, it's just really, really goddamn good. It's uh, just like, like fantastic uh, s stats, like a uh, design, and um, really good weapons loadout. Yeah, so we'll be able to check it out. Okay, let's talk to this horrible woman. And uh, yeah, so there are a lot of different um, special supply drops happening right now. Um, yeah, so there's one for the anniversary this week. Uh, this is a GBO Days spin, it needs 30 tokens. Um, this seems to be another of the same thing. Uh, there's a step up that guarantees the Sazabi and yeah, the uh, the Psycho Frame, the like custom part. I'm not as interested in that custom part. Uh, it just kind of does the same thing as like a uh, Psycho Frame Resonance does uh, on the new and the Sazabi. I guess you can just put it on other mobile suits, but yeah, I've, I don't really find it that necessary. Oh, you can buy the Kubli for tickets now. Yeah, I already have mine, but if you missed out on it, you can get it now. Um, it's definitely not as strong after its nerf. Like, it is okay now. Yeah, my problem with it is that it's it's a downswing on its melee. It just doesn't reach. Anyway, let's uh, let's do this free spin on yeah, the anniversary banner. Okay, let's see what falls onto these planes. Okay, I get a level 1 goof, which I somehow don't have already. <laughs> There's a big plane, I get the Gaz R. I have never spared a thought for this mobile suit, it looks really goofy. Okay, a level 4 gym light armor, that's some low level shit right there. A <laughs> level 3 Dom. Alright, like I really need that stuff. Okay, a gym space assault type, like I really like that gym cannon. Another Dom. The Rigazi, level 1. Huh. I uh, didn't think I would ever, ever get that. Here's a big plane. <laughs> Zaku Haimo ground type. What the hell? Nobody even thinks about that mobile suit. And a Zaku tank. Okay, another big plane. I get the level 3 Gunner Gundam, which is... I guess it's nice to have, but... Um, yeah, it's just sort of outperformed by the Hyzak custom in every way, so I would rather use that mobile suit instead. Um, wow, this is a lot of new mobile suits. That's And this 10 spin was 100% mobile suits. Like, usually I just get all beam sabers. That's very weird. Anyway, yeah, I'm glad to have uh, the Rigazi in there. Okay, this is a GBO Days spin. I don't want to use the 30 tokens on that. This is uh, another... Like, free 10 spin. Like, uh, I'm not really sure why we have two on the same day. That's really weird. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and try this, and we'll see what falls out of these planes. Okay, so we get a beam saber. Okay, this is looking more normal. Okay, big plane. We get a repeat of the G-Line standard armor. I really like this general type. Another big plane. A level 3 Barzum. Yeah, these are fun, but they tend to die instantly. Another beam saver for the Gabaldi Alpha. A super napalm rifle. I really didn't have this already. That's really weird. A level 5 Gigan. Uh, so I really like the Gigan. Okay, a beam rifle for the gun cannon detector. And another hyper bazooka Kai. Okay, another Rick Dom, too. I have a lot of these. <laughs> Peasant Woods. Yeah, what's with all these slidey boys they keep trying to give me? Okay, uh, not quite as good as the previous spin, but yeah, I did get a couple of new suits, a couple of new guns. Yeah, I really like this Gigan. It's at 400 cost. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna get completely annihilated at <laughs> that cost, but we'll see. Okay, so we have the step up left. Um, I have been so burned by the previous step up for the new Gunnam that I really don't want to spin for the step up at all. Uh, so I'm going to try a single spin on the actual Sazabi banner and see if I can get super lucky. 
<laughs> yeah, I heard a few of my commenters got in on a single spin. Uh, the new Gundam, that is. Uh, wow, that was a that was a weird hiccup. I don't, I don't know what that was. Okay, I got a level four Gabera Tetra beam machine gun, which is a really nice gun. But yeah, I uh, yeah, I'm not really focused on that right now. Let's try a ten spin now, with bonus. Okay, it looks like we get Shar's spacesuit. Yeah, I've always been really thrown off by the color of the thing. <laughs> like, why? But anyway, um, okay, so here goes this 10 spin. And we get... Some beam sabers. I still don't have this Kugli Mark II. Okay, Gabaldi Beta's beam rifle. Oh, Zico Eins Type 2 Level 1. I only had the Level 2 before. Okay, Tetris Beam Saber Level 3. A big plane, a GPO-4 again. I don't know why they keep giving me this thing. Another big plane. Oh, it's the, it's the Sazabi, four stars. Yeah, that's very purple. Um, hmm. I probably should have waited to see what color the box was, but uh, yeah, we got the Sazabi, that's cool. Okay, Jim 2's beam rifle. That's not even like the end of the, of the spin. Okay, Thunderbolt's beam saber. A lot of beam sabers. Zisa's beam saber again. I got this uh, during the last video. Uh, <laughs> Baloney sandwich's beam gun. The worst beam gun in the game, as far as I can tell. Yeah, like I, I got hit with a charge shot in the face as a support type, and it just didn't do anything to me. You know, from that baloney sandwich gun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to using that uh, that type too. Yeah, so the Sazabi is 700 cost. It's a general. Um, very high stats, very low ballistic resistance. Uh, so expect more towards melee rather than shooting. So it's, you know, kind of flipped uh, versus the new Gundam. Yeah, pretty good running speed and boost speed. It has space affinity. Okay, so it has a lot of close range slots, uh, not very many medium range slots. Okay, and yeah, I, I don't really feel like spinning again. I, I kind of want to see what they do for the other two weeks for the anniversary month. Yeah, and the step up guarantees you a yeah a psycho frame like part, and yeah, it looks nice, but yeah, I, I can do without it. I don't I don't want to spend a hundred and ninety five tokens again for no reason. Okay, so let me organize all of my new horse shit. Yeah, a lot of nice stuff in here. Yeah, actually, before th these spins, I've never had uh, a a melee suit with um, power charge. So now I have the gym three and the rigazi to use that. Okay, so here's the Sazabi. Yeah, space affinity, like pretty high stats across the board, like low ballistic resistance. Yeah, I'm trying to just compare it to the new gun. It's got higher beam and melee resistance. Yeah, so it's definitely specced for a close range. Okay, here's this beam shot rifle. And a lar Sazabi's large beam saber. Yeah, this has a cooldown time of 1.3 seconds, so you can fire, like, consecutively pretty quick. And the charge time on it, it's just, it's only 2 seconds. That's like, it's like half of most rifles. Okay, the belly gun, scattering mega particle cannon. I'm just gonna call it the belly gun from here on. Okay, double beam sabers. Okay, it's got pincer and, and follow funnels. Yeah, I think the the pincer formation it overheats instantly. Like when you, whenever you launch that, it's got some micro missiles in the shield too. Yeah, and a, and a large shield. I've always really liked the shield on the Sazabi. Okay, so we're gonna stick some custom parts on here. Um, I'm mostly just gonna stack damage, I guess. Okay, so it's got a lot of weapons. So let's organize what we have here. Yeah, it's, most of it's already placed the way I would place them, so we just gotta place the funnels, essentially. So let's put, uh, you know what, let's, let's put the, the follow funnels on that bottom spot. Yeah, that's usually the easiest place for me to access. Okay, we'll put the pincer opposite of that, and the missiles, uh, probably bottom left. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, let's look at the skills here. You have Leg Shock Absorber Level 3. Yeah, for jumping and landing. Uh, dodge Roll Level 1. 
Yeah, he's kind of a beefy boy, so he can't like like spin around that much. Okay, leg buffers, anti-blast, uh, flight control program level two, performance balancer, high spec and back. Okay, that'll be useful for space. Uh, maneuver armor level one. It's very useful for being close range. Force injector three, uh, two hit melee, uh, long range radar, power accelerator, so you can yeah get out of beam saber clashes faster. Okay, back buffer for the backpack. Psycho frame resonance, so yeah, pretty much uh, the same as the new Gundam, and it has uh, the special counter at low HP. Okay, let's uh, find some paint to throw on this thing. You guys know what it's <laughs> gonna look like, essentially. Yeah, so I found the the color blocking on the Sazabi. It's it's a little less detailed than I expected. It was like it's very like I'd expect it like to to have like two toned shoulders or something, but they didn't do that. Like it's all very large blocks. But uh but yeah, like it's it turned out a little better than the new Gundam. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's looking pretty nice. Let's give it, <laughs> let's give the audience a spin here. Yeah, man, I really like that shield. Okay, let's save our stuff and go out for a field test. Okay, here we go. Man, Sazabi is very huge. Uh, its lower body is like it's like 70 percent of its height. Wow. Yeah, it's got pretty pretty good turn speed. Uh, wow, the, the boost capacity is really good. This, this actually looks a little better than the new Gundam's boost capacity. Yeah, and I, I only put like a level one boost part on it, I think. Okay, let's look at the weapon cycle. Okay, that that one's pretty slow. Okay, that's pretty quick. Okay, funnels are fast. Funnels are fast. Okay, missile launchers instant. Beam rifles fast. Okay, let's see here. Okay, I think the next we want to look at the melee move set. Okay, that's that's a pretty standard neutral. Can I just say how much it bothers me that he's holding it by the end of the handle instead of near where the cross guard is? Okay, the double sabers. Yeah, that, that's just pretty standard and as far as double sabers go. Yeah, it looks the same as the, the BD-2. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm trying to test um, downswings in between the two weapons, so... The cooldown on the beam sword is actually kind of long, so you kind of can't combo between them too easily. Yeah, because when you go back to beam sword, it's still not cooled down already. Okay, we'll have to watch out for that. Okay, let's try out the guns. Okay, beam shot rifle. Okay, I believe. Oh, yeah, you know, let's get rid of the shield. It's going to cause problems for the rest of this test. There we go, one shot. That was pretty fast charge time. Okay, so uncharged, it is a shotgun blast. Okay, instant stun. Yeah, like keep in mind, I am like point blank in this guy's face. So I've got another stun. It's got like 75 heat, something like that. Yeah, so you can fire repeatedly pretty quick. Oh, that second shot did not stun. Okay, okay, the overheat is okay. Holy crap, that is that is a lot of damage. Wait, how did I catch him with a neutral? Huh? Yeah, like I, I I wasn't trying to swing at that MRS, but he got caught in the beam saber neutral. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty fast charge and it does instant stun. Whoa. Okay, right over his head. <laughs> okay, that might be a problem. Yeah, Sazabi's really tall. God, that's that downswing did six thousand. Yeah, and the double series did uh, 4,700. That is that is a lot of melee damage. Okay, yeah. I think the height's gonna be a problem. Yeah, so the downswing tips towards the left foot, so... Ah, oh, god. Yeah, and even when you're very close, it's gonna go right over their head, so that's kind of a problem. Okay, I probably would have hit that, but 
Yeah, I guess the, the spacing in this little nook is proving to be a really bad problem. Yeah, we'll test the sabers with some other enemies uh, somewhere else, but let's look at the other guns. Okay, so here's the belly gun. Um, it, it seems to overheat instantly, but as far as I can tell, I think it actually does two shots technically. And yeah, that's a little, a little hard to wrap my head around. Yeah, so the beam shot rifle, like, it is a shotgun. Um, somehow the devs managed to make uh, shotguns less accurate than all the other guns in the game. So that's, you know, kind of the opposite as the real world. <laughs> Very weird. Okay, yeah, and you can fire the belly gun while boosting because it's embedded in the torso. Did that downswing go over his head? Oh, fuck me. Yeah, this positioning is getting to be a problem. Okay, let's wait for my boosters to come back here. Oh yeah, the rockets. Yeah, these are much more, uh, much higher damage than the new Venoms. Okay, they seem to stun on three. Huh, did I miss one of them? It did stun though. Okay, the cooldown's not fast enough for a combo. Okay, let's try moles. Okay, here's the pincer formation. Yeah, pretty good damage. Follow up. Yeah, they're overheated. Yeah, so these pretty much work exactly like the Kugui's follow funnels, which, you know, they're very good. And they seem to have um, low heat as well, so that's pretty good. What the hell? Why are you not going down from the down? Did that actually miss you? Huh. Wait a second. Why, why did that combo work? Yeah, the, the sword was cooled down in time for that follow-up. That, that is not consistent. Anyway, yeah, let's... Yeah, something's a little screwy with that positioning. Let's go out here. Yeah, so level 1 dodge roll. Yeah, the new Gundam has level 3 dodge roll. Okay, let's try funnel damage on you. Okay, stun. Okay, they're already shooting for the pincer formation. Yeah, I, I'm not able to stun with uh, the follow funnels, it looks like. Yeah, I unloaded all four shots and it didn't stun. Okay. Downswing. Switch and downswing. Yeah, the cooldown. And it's not even cooled down enough for a neutral. Okay, let's see. What are we gonna do with this exactly? Oh, that didn't stun. Shit. <laughs> okay, one more. Try a double stun combo. That didn't stun at all either. Yeah, a little, a little inconsistent here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I landed both shots on the, the belly gun. What happened? Yeah, it's, it's looking like the stuns on the Sazabi are a little unreliable, so that's gonna make it less safe to use. Um, yeah, keep in mind, like it is gonna be in melee range, and then. Um, yeah, it also has maneuver armor, so hopefully that saves it. That might not save it. Yeah, and the fact that it can switch between two melees, well, hopefully that will keep you safe, but... Now, the cooldown on this beam sword is not good. So, yeah, if you end up switching from beam sword to beam sabers to try to defend yourself... Yeah, the, the, the beam sabers might be your last actual safety opening, so... Yeah, I can see things going wrong. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, so if we lead the melee combo with sabers, like, we don't have to worry about um, the cooldown on the beam sword because it's in the middle of the combo instead. Holy crap, that is a ton of damage. I think that's basically a 100% kill combo right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and activate Psycho Frame Resonance and see what kind of effects this has. So this shouldn't boost attack or or defense, just speed. And it uh, should increase uh, lock speed for uh, the funnel pincer formation. Okay, let's see. So yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm running a little faster. 
The boost capacity is absolutely insane now. And keep in mind, the Sazabi has space affinity, so if you have this activated in space, yeah, you're going to be just boosting for days. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and you have really big bell-bottom legs, so yeah, my legs are pretty busted up right now. Oh, your turn speed is faster, too. Okay, let's go ahead and try the lock speed for the funnels. Yeah, pretty much instant, just like the new Gundam. Okay, and yeah, I think that's... Is that everything I wanted to test? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the Sazabi here. Yeah, the, the geometry and the proportions, they look uh, very accurate, look uh, very handsome. Lots of sweeping, sloping lines. Um, I kind of feel it needs a little more detail, maybe, but... I don't know, it's just, um, yeah, it's, I feel like the geometry needs to be broken up a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, the panel lining is good. Yeah, th these colors look nice on the Sazabi. Oh, it's even got the, the head cockpit thing. Yeah, this, oh yeah, I forgot to test dodge roll, uh, on Psycho Frame. Um, yeah, it, it still, it still takes up your whole, your whole boost meter, so. Yeah, I guess that doesn't really change anything for dodge rolls. Okay, let's go ahead and test the counters. Yeah, so you should have a regular counter and then uh, a low HP counter. I mean, the regular one is a kick, unfortunately. Oh man. <laughs> okay, and with the Psycho Frame activated. Yeah, so you basically have this insane Beam Saber barrage uh, with the Dual Sabers. Yeah, Shar was kind of doing that in the movie, except he, he wasn't quite within reach to hit the new Gundam with it. Wow, that looks very painful. Yeah, this, uh, it looks really cool, but something about the animation looks a little choppy to me. But yeah, this is actually really fucking cool. <laughs> yeah, I really like that. Yeah, and, and they're down long enough for you to get two down swings in there, that's pretty serious. Alright guys, um, yeah, I guess uh, that's it for our look at the Sazabi. It's looking very strong. Uh, the melee damage on this thing is freaking insane. Um, and I really like the its funnel tools. Like it, This mobile suit is pretty much the pinnacle of all mobile suit design up to this point. It just has all the best tools, including double melee, like insanely high damage double melee at that. Yeah, it has the best funnel formations. And... Um, yeah, it's got a, a, a lot of different ranged options. Uh, kind of the problem with the ranged options is uh, they seem a little unreliable for stun. So that does have me a little worried, but you know, I haven't used this thing in a match yet. We'll, we'll see what happens. But uh, yeah, so far the Sazabi is looking very strong. Um, in my opinion, it's looking more fun than the new Gundam, but it doesn't really do anything new. Like, uh, like uh, the new Gundam, it kind of brings in uh, new ideas like uh, the fin funnel barrier which you know Sazabi obviously doesn't have but uh, anyway guys that's gonna be it for now hopefully you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time